team is going to score goals this year, but to get some uh, Saturday night, do you see guys just sort of, will that help confidence, do you think, going forward? Well, I, no doubt about it, and I think so. I mean, you see, like I've said, every day since the first day of practice, we see it. Um, it's just a matter of uh, a few pucks bouncing in, uh, power play, gain a little momentum. Uh, but again, we, we saw it again today in practice. I mean, we scored so many goals in practice today, and it wasn't just fluky goals, pucks on that. It was guys making great plays. And uh, even RJ, afterwards, we were talking, and he was saying the same thing. He goes, Yeah, we see this every day. It's just hopefully they get, continue to gain confidence. Yeah. Is, has confidence been the main stumbling block, or is it just getting a rolling or? No, I think it's confidence. I think uh, obviously you don't score a couple goals. I think uh, power play gets put on your heels. And like I've said, I mean, you take five to 12 guys on that power play. Now they're your guys that you're looking to score goals as well. And all of a sudden they don't have confidence. The bench feels that a little bit. Um, you know, and I mean, hockey or sport in general is such a confidence uh, up and down. You got to ride it a little bit. And if it's not going your way, you got to fight through it. And it seems like guys like like Max and Ryan are playing more like veterans. I mean, some of those high ta you know, talented young guys who were freshmen last year are now starting to really kind of get used yeah. to being at this level. Well, I think that is part of it. I think that our confidence was it's still going to come. I mean, we're so young. Um, we still don't have and you're not going to have senior you know, more guys all of a sudden move in to be seniors. And, you know, it is what it is in terms of our numbers. So uh, I think that guys didn't want to step on toes. I think they're still feeling out process. But certainly guys are, are finding themselves in, in, in terms of their ability within the team and, and how they fit and how they can be leaders. And uh, do they have to be vocal? Can they be uh, just a, a quiet uh, unassuming guy in the locker room, but go out on the ice and really make an impact. I mean, certainly that's Ryan Dezingle to a T. Do you put importance on keeping lines together? Uh, you would, uh, you know, ideally you would like to. I mean, if you had a magic wand as a coach, you'd probably want to keep three guys, and even if you could, a five-man unit, and uh, keeping them together the whole year. Um, because the, the chemistry side of it is unbelievable. If you can really develop that and understand and have a, almost a, a knack of knowing where each guy is before you get the puck and uh, you don't have to really communicate, you don't have to talk, you're just going to read off each other. And unfortunately in our game, especially this year so far with the injuries, we haven't had that ability. But <clears throat> right now we're trying to keep guys in pairs anyway and, see, and, and go from there, see who's got some chemistry with each other uh, and then build lines from there. But is there a positive that the guys are playing with other guys so you maybe can go make some changes on the fly? You know, it's funny. Uh, you know, you got two, two rules of thought. I, I think there's a lot of coaches that would like to keep lines together and never mix it up. And then you got the exact opposite of that where they're just going to throw it into a blender and see what comes out. And uh, the positive for us, with we've had those injuries and we've mixed them up. You saw this week. Uh, Obviously, guys played with Lip getting hurt and being pulled out, and then Shahura coming in. And guys played with a lot of different combinations, and uh, they did a great job with it. Uh, Thanksgiving plans, and will the Canadians be included? They're included. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they go. Uh, certainly, like Lane LaBelle, he gets to celebrate two of them. He's not sure which way he's going. But uh, okay. yeah, so they get to, we'll, we'll have something nice planned up as much as you can uh, when we're on the bus and on the road. But uh, we'll get up to Lake State, have a practice, and have a nice big Thanksgiving meal, get the big screen TVs going with football, and um, at least we're all together. You know, that, that I guess that's the best part about it is the group's together. Feel bad for the injured players back here, uh, but the other guys get to be together. Do, uh, will you do an extra workout Friday morning to get the trip to fan out, or how does that kind of work? Yeah, that's the one thing we'll have to do. We'll have to be cautious on what we do Friday to make sure they're not uh, just sitting on that turkey. So, But, yeah, we'll, we'll get over to the rink and, and get a good skate in. Um, we've got to ask about just uh, November again. Uh, obviously, last year that kind of caught on. Did you see the guys, I mean, Leanne's taking pictures of them and stuff. Is that kind of, the guys embrace that again this year? Well, the guys that you can see with their <laughs> mustaches. Yeah, some of these taking guys on. aren't so, exactly. It's uh, the other guys <laughs> that I'm concerned about, and they got to mature a little bit. So, But yeah, no, it's caught on. I mean, certainly, I think it's great, great for us to have the opportunity to raise that awareness, and uh, yeah. our guys have really embraced that. Is it neat how that's sort of a hockey wide thing? Like, that's, you see everybody out there doing it. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, even the officials. So yeah. it's, I mean, it's awesome. I, I think it's a great opportunity. I think there's a, a lot of different causes out there, and I think for hockey to be able to rally around this is tremendous.